this. Stephen, you are going to tell me what happened right now! Tell me! It was, it was Jack, Jack and Sean. I went to the park this morning. I ran into Jennifer. I told you no Jennifer! I'm sorry, we were just talking. Jack must have found out. He tracked me. He told me to run. I'm sorry! A hundred mils of tridominal in both your hands. Should last for a day, but if you need more, um, there's more in the glove box. Free of charge. All right. Thanks. Consider the Africa debt repaid. How do we ever get involved in this dirty business? The dirty world. Don't you think we could have done better? No. I need you behind the scenes. I need you to run my campaign. I'm, I'm working through some personal issues with uh, speaking, public speaking. And that is how when Every two times a, a, a week I'm teaching to an empty class and um, that seems to be helping me so far. Hey, guys, we got a big fucking problem. Well, what happened? You see this case? That I went through all the trouble of getting for Mr. Pablito? Well, turns out Mr. Pablito is really Mr. Mohammed from Kazakhstan. And oh, before I forget to mention it, this case is holding seven pounds of weapons grade uranium. It's a suitcase bomb. Well, what the fuck do you mean, uranium? Uh, th that radioactive shit that'll make your fucking hairy balls glow like night lights. That's what I mean. Why don't you tell us what happened? Well, the fucker took a shot at me. Took three shots. Did you let him get away? Well, considering Mr. Mohammed's brain is currently spilt across the ceramic tile floor, I'm thinking no. Well, here you are, at the threshold of evil, and believe me, this place is indeed evil. The tortured souls of Lakeview Asylum remain here to remind us all who enter of the suffering and the death they face every day. Now, I must warn you, this is not a matter of if you will see things or hear things, but how you and your family will deal with it afterwards. I pray you all have an open mind. You're going to need it inside this place. 